hello guys assalamu alaikum welcome back to another video in this video i'm gonna show you how you can install netbeans latest version or lts version in your windows operating system so further in late before i start this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for never miss any update so let's start it so before you download NetBeans latest version first you need to ensure that your operating system must have java install without installing java you cannot run the software or cannot compile your code for output so if you don't know how you can install java so don't worry about it in this description below i will give you a link where i can tell you how you can install java in your windows operating system in proper guideline so check the link in the description below so now we are going to check in our windows operating system java is installed or not so for check just search your cmd and right click on it and click the run as administrator it will open command prompt as you can see here so just right here java space hyphen version and press the enter now as you can see here it's tell you which java version is run on your windows operating system so as you can see here at the time making this video my java version is 16.0.1 so after run this command if it say java is not recognized as an internal or external command so that means most probably java is not installed in your windows operating system so that means you need to install java so check out the link in the description below i will show you there how you can install java in proper way so after installing java or after make sure that your java is already installed then you're ready for the download the netbeans latest version so for download this you need to open your browser and search their netbeans and click the first link which is going to appear here netbeans.apache.org or you can check the link in the description below where i already given this link so check it out and uh, visit here so once you click on it it will show you this type of web page so for download you need to click the right corner download option so after click on it it will show us this type of page where you can see all the latest version of netbeans so here you can see the latest version of netbeans is 12.4 which is released on this date at the time making this video and this is the lts version of netbeans lts means long term support which is released on this date at the time making this video so my suggestion is if you use it for long time support you need to download the lts version of netbeans if you don't want you can go for the latest update which is 12.4 but don't worry two version installing process is same i just download here the lts version of netbeans so just click on the download and here is the exe file for windows x64 so just click on it so it will provide a download link which is going to appear here so for download just click on it so now it will auto start our download as you can see here our download is complete so this is our download file as you can see here so for install this you need to double click on it so now it's tell you welcome to apache netbeans id 12 point installer and here you see the installation size which, which is 690.3 mb and here you need to just click on the next button and check mark the license agreement and click on next and here you can see in this first one is your netbeans and second one is your java file location 
if you install java it will automatically detect your java file location so no need to change here just click on next and uncheck this for check for update and click the install our installation is started so as you can see here it's tell you installation complete successful so just click on finish now it's time to open our netbeans id so this is the interface of our netbeans id 12.0 so now i show you how you can run your code in your netbeans id so for run any code you need to just create a new project and select here java with a and t and project select here java application and click the next here you need to download some support libraries and java fx implementation so just check mark both and click the download and activate here you see the two files and click the next button and again you need to check mark the license agreement and uh, click the install so as you can see here our two files installation is complete so just click on finish so now it's take a time for check the file so once it checking complete you will see this type of page where you need to set your project name and wait for the building directory which is run in this below you can put here any type of name i just name it hello world so once it complete just click on the finish button and it will create a new project as you can see here so now i write here a hello world code to show you its work or not so i write my code and for run this you need to click on this green button and here you can see it is it is built and run successfully there is the output which is hello world so that's all guys if you enjoy this video make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and comment me below what you think about this video i will see you guys in this next video thank you so much